What's up guys, it is Jay Beeps here, and welcome to this episode of All Wide Receiver Fantasy Draft. Now obviously, this team looks a little unusual, but that's because I did a fantasy draft with 53 wide receivers were taken, and I have then had to move their positions around in order to field a, f a full 53-man roster. And we are about to play our first preseason game against the Cowboys. This will be an interesting start to interesting start to the season. Nice thing is that we are starting off at home, which is always a big positive because it's it's always it's just always better to get a, a good home win to start the season, which we are hopefully able to do. However, can't promise anything because don't really have any idea what's going to happen. I mean, I don't think, I don't even know what's going to happen. I don't know if anybody in the world knows what's going to happen, because this, this team is, it's very unique. Uh, never been done before. So, hopefully, it goes pretty smoothly. Deontay Johnson is our kicker. Let's see how good his kickoff is. Terrible, okay, so... With Deontay Johnson, we have to squib our opening kickoffs, which we have to do with just about every every one of these experiments. It's what we've had to do. So, we're starting off already in a terrible spot, putting our defense in a big hole. But, you know, it's okay, because they're going to have to get used to this, because it's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen a lot. Alright, so I got Herbert in at QB. Kind of a little ironic. Herbert is playing against the, the team that drafted him in real life. Alright, let's see what we can do here with Carter. Aw. Good hit behind line of scrimmage. We couldn't bring Aaron Jones down. Alright, yeah. The strength for this team, I think, is going to be the nickel. Because we have a very good linebacking core. And a very deep linebacking core as well. Oh, good hit there from Agnew, but just couldn't jar the ball loose. Yeah, yeah it's Jimmy Graham. It's, it's going to be pretty tough to knock the ball out of his hands. Oh, good job breaking past the coverage. Got past the line, got, actually got pressure there, which is pretty good. And uh, now we can, we're gonna bring some, we're gonna bring some heat. Here's a run play to the left. I don't think he got it. I think it's third inches. Ah, oh, they gave him to him. All right. Well. He's brought down at the 15 yard we'll just keep bringing pressure. A pickup of two yards. First down, Cowboys. Alright, good tackle there. Didn't let him get too far. Let's see what we can do here with Andre Roberts. All right, so now they got third and four, third and three. All right, we're gonna go a dime look. We're gonna go a four-man dime look though. Mm. Let's go cover two man. Uh, okay. We'll give that to them. Good job by them. Touchdown, it's also going to take us some time to figure out this defense. Almost, got, almost, almost, almost got that block. And it's also going to be rough. 
All right, so they got Sanders to kick it off. We're going to return it with Agnew. All right, and our quarterback, Julian Edelman. He's, I mean, he's the best thrower of all the QBs. I mean, he played quarterback in college. And we are using the, we're using the Eagles playbook because, obviously, with this team, it's going to be pretty rough to run the ball. But we have some amazing wide receivers and some excellent athletes. So, we can just do this on the opening play of the game. And just like that, the game is all tied up. This is going to be an air raid offense. And considering how well that just went, I, I feel pretty confident. Now, obviously, because of how because of the players on our team, we can't really uh, we can't really kick extra points. But what we can do. Okay, that that was meant to go to the tight end, but I will not. I don't mind it going to Tyreek Hill. We will have to go for two because we cannot kick it. But based on the strengths of this team. Feel pretty confident. We should be able to get it. I mean, even if we get it, if we only get it 50% of the time, depending on the time and situation, it might be as if we were just kicking extra points. You know, obviously, I'd like to get it more than 50% of the time, so we could be in a good position. But I mean, you can't ask for too much with this team. Block, block, block. Go, 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 go. Let's go, Gunner. Gunner Ochevsky with the pick six. You hear, you seriously think he's not going to be smart enough to jump that route? Yeah, I want to slant play. Also, motioning out could draw a player out or two. I don't know what's going on with their defense. Like, why are players You're just running in there with Julian Edelman? I think this might, this team might be. I mean, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because obviously, I mean, there's been three drives so far. I think this team could easily be the most successful out of all of my like position draft experiments. Just because of the fact that I mean, we, we have just pure athletes all around the field and we have good players all around the field. Oh uh, yeah, I'll accept that. Alright, we'll line up in the 4-4. I don't think they're going to throw the ball. Yep. Number 33, Aaron Jones, the ball carrier. All right, we'll try to cover one. The one thing we don't have to worry about is getting beat over the top because of the speed that we have. It's just going to be a matter of slowing down their defense. I mean, we already got an interception, and that's all we can really ask for from our defense, realistically. We got a def defensive touchdown. We'll probably be, hopefully it's not one of the few this season, but chances are it won't happen very often. Now that was a good play call by them. However, we are better. You're not going to fool us with that. How dumb do you think we are? 
Obviously, pretty dumb if you're going to try that. Good break up there. Now we'll go quarter look. Oh, they only have quarter overload. Hmm. We'll use that later, just not right now. Alright, Carter, let's see what you got. Okay, good. He got brought down short. Good tackle there by Harmon. Alright, we're going to go punt safe man left. Or safe man left. Because I don't trust them. Alright. Pretty good first quarter. Pretty sure the starters are now done for the majority of the game. Obviously, they'll be in for some random plays. But we're up six. Alright, Deontay Harris. Let's see what you got. All right, good return there. Good return. All right, let's actually try to like run the ball. The other nice thing is, I mean, that's John Ross at running back. So, you know, if we can get like toss plays or slip screens or something, actually, actually for a slip screen, one of these formations. Alright, we'll, we'll just look for, for another run. Pick up the first. There we go, halfback slip screen. We're probably going to be using a lot of these throughout the season. Because, obviously, with rugs. Ross and Harris in the backfield. Obviously, you want to take advantage of those players. Yeah, that was, that was a bad throw. I was just got I got really confused by that that D tackle dropping off. Just, you know, we're not going to call it really special. We will at some point this season, but there's a time and place for everything, and that time is not now. A really nice thing. What a catch. What a catch. Good catch there by Duvernay. Alright, let's just run up and go, John Ross. Ooh, almost broke through the hole. All right, we'll spread things out. I mean, I like the fact Tyreek Hill's still in. Because I'm going to be honest, I've never actually used Tyreek Hill. Because I, mean, I don't usually take wide receiver's first pick, and he's usually not there, if, even if I were to. Boom, touchdown John Ross. We are cruising, ladies and gentlemen. We are cruising. Yeah, we give a rollout, please. I would appreciate that. Because I'm probably just going to run this myself. Um, no. Also, help if my QB could move like a or like a regular quarterback. I don't know what he was doing there. All right, we'll kick this off with John to John. Oh, that's out of bounds. That was that horrible kick. Oh no. Oh, we, is there gonna be another holding on them? Holding. Let's go. Everything is just coming up right for us right now. Oh yeah, let's get on Valdez Scantling. 16. Who's 16? 
I know it used to be. It used to be Matt Castle. I don't know, quarterback, you were 16. I also don't know why they would have Aaron Jones and Todd Gurley. Like, isn't that just like a waste of a pick? You already have an amazing running back. Good hit there. Hunley is their QB. Interesting. Very interesting, I'll say that. Good tackle there. They not realize that we are, we're going to catch on eventually. Like, you, 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 can, you can get a couple of good running plays in, but we're going to catch on eventually. Like, I'm not stupid. I mean, I have my moments. I'm not stupid. Which I think we should probably abandon the cover three. Probably, probably go for a cover two or cover four. Probably go for a cover four or cover six. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That is Ted Ginn. Ted Ginn in a D tackle. All right, good in completion. Yeah, we'll try press quarters. I'm going to assume they're passing the ball. Incomplete. Man. No, we'll switch to cover two man. Incomplete. Let's go. That should be a field goal, right? I mean, they should they should kick the field goal. Cole Hardman is having himself a good, pretty decent game at corner. I mean, a lot of these guys are going to be pretty good at corner. See, that is why I that is why I go safe, man. Every single time, you can't trust them. You gotta go safe, man. Because you never know what they're going to do. I'm telling you guys. I'm, I'm one step ahead. The CPU is playing chess. I'm playing checkers. I just go right ahead. You know, they make things all com complicated and confusing. I just go. So I'm going to go to the QB draw. I think this will work pretty well. All right, yep, let's go into a little no-huddle action again. Club Verts. Come on, let's go. Let's go one more play here. Let's go for the jet sweep to John Ross. All right, good six-yard run there. Not bad though. Just saying, not bad from the team. They want to hold off for Tyree Kill here. That was a bad throw. It was the right throw. It was just it was not a good throw. I think I'm kind of gonna predetermine QB scramble here, as long as they don't have a middle linebacker on a QB spy. I think they do. All right, we at least got it away. Yeah, no, we're not going to punt the ball. We'll go tight, and we'll go. Really, that's the only tight plays they have. Um, we'll we'll go. We'll run a slip screen to Ross. Why didn't he throw the ball? Why didn't you throw the ball, Harris? You idiot. If I tap triangle, you throw the triangle. It's not that complicated. Alright, 
<sighs> and now they're gonna somehow get a touchdown or something off of this. Just watch. Good sack. Good sack there by Williams. Alright, so now they're in a Hail Mary situation. I'm just gonna use a Justin Jefferson. Alright. 12 point lead heading into half. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, obviously, we'd like to have more. But you can't really ask for more when you're doing an uh, experiment like this and using a team like this. I mean, we're playing well. That's really the most important thing, is that we're just playing well, figuring out the team, figuring out what works, figuring out what doesn't, and getting all these players XP boosts. All right, good return, good return. So really, the preseason is just about getting these players on the field and allowing them to actually play. So I mean, a lot of these players are going to end up being wasted, like the wide receivers. Probably going to end up being wasted as far as what they could have become, like Mooney. He's probably won't see, see the field like at all in the regular season. Even though he has that hidden development trait, he's just not good enough. You know, there's multiple receivers in front of him. Having said, he's still good. Especially with the spread offense. I mean, wide receivers are going to see the field a whole lot. You idiot. Fitzgerald. That was Larry Fitzgerald. Dude. You don't make that mistake. You're Larry Fitzgerald. Go tap that. Alright, we'll call him Slant's play again. That was almost bad. I don't know why I always try to throw that route. Alright, we'll get John Ross on the Texas route here. Not good enough to throw. I threw it much earlier. Alright, we'll just go for the slip screen to Ross. Ooh, no, they're in a nickel look. Actually, no, we will. We'll stick with our gut. Touchdown, John Ross. Why did they bring that big of a blitz? Why did they blitz like their in, like entire defense? I mean, the slip screen was it was there the entire time. That was a curve. That was. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Actually, no, we'll try it. Oof. Oh well. I actually think one of these times in like a fourth or fourth and one or like a short yarded situation. Probably line up as if we oh jeez. Seriously? Did we seriously just Give up a kick return touchdown to Todd Gurley. Really? Yeah, 
The kick is good. We did. Huh? Chargers 28. Cowboys 17. I'm sorry. I'm. I don't understand. How and why? The Chargers take over first and. We seriously did that? At their own 25-yard line. Really? He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. I sh give me a block, give me a Oh, you idiot, throw me a block. That's a touchdown. Yeah, I want a counter run. I feel like a counter with John Ross. If we can just get him running at an angle to the outside, beat that safety with speed, should be an easy touchdown. It would help if we blocked. I know it's a pretty crazy concept. You know, blocking. Oh yes, pitch play. Oh no, 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 can we flip the run? Oh, we can't flip the run. What if we just... Can we flip the play? Let's see how their defense reacts to that. Okay, I like this much better. Because they're bringing that overload blitz on that one side. So we can just... Just zoom around. Okay, I didn't even realize how how good the uh, wide receivers and running back were. I can't wait to use uh, rugs once we get the chance. Like next game, using rugs. Good throw and catch there by Ross. Alright, I have no clue how to run the Philly special. I don't know how it works, but oh, we have Terry Kill in it. Terry Kill's the one throwing it. So we got the catch and the penalty. Oh. Okay, so I I still don't really understand Philly Special. But I kind of do. I love the fact that Tyree kills the QB. Alright, let's just run it here. Block, block. Oh. Why didn't you block? That could have just been a touchdown. Alright, let's power it on up. Get our beefy boys in there. Let's pound it in there. Okay, I hate goal line. That, that safety is pretty much guaranteed to come over every single time. Like, right there, he's probably gonna do it. He's probably gonna do it again. Just watch him on the left. Oh, well, he's actually an idiot, so he didn't come. Well, well, well. You guys aren't the only ones who can call fake kick or flip pass. You're not so cool. Actually, I'm just going to scramble this. Nope. Oh, why did that one dude come off the line so quickly? Okay, we are not. Repeat. Not going to give up. A kick return touchdown to Todd Gurley. Okay. Do you understand? What do you mean, very short kick? I don't know if you guys can hear the announcers now. They just said short kick. What else do you think it would be? Deontay Johnson's our kicker. Alright, we're gonna hit him with the quarter overload. And guess pass. They're not gonna know what's hit. Hunley's gonna be so confused by this. Oh, he wasn't that confused. I thought he'd be more confused. Alright, Gabe Davis. Oh, broken blocks. 
got pressure on the QB. I mean, we're up 17. Can't really complain about them getting a couple of yards. Just really want them to keep them out of the end zone. Ooh, almost was able to jump that. Almost able to jump it. Uh, let's go Ventus. Ventus Scantling. Oh! Yeah, I want to use, use Valdez Scantling. Good hit there. Third and five, third and six. And we're gonna go and nickel look. So we have a very solid group of linebackers, so I want to keep using. I want to, I want to use the nickel. A pretty heavy amount, of times. Because it is working for us. Oh, good block shed. Yeah, you're not escaping the sack from that. Gabe Davis with the sack. Let's go. Sack, lunch. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> Beautiful. Alright, let's, let's see what you got, Ted Ginn. I don't know what, what that play is. It's so busted. Like, it works every time. But it's just, you know, it wasn't enough. Oh, I tried to throw it there at the end, but it got sacked. The quarterback taken down and sacked. That play was the very definition of fast, quick, and it's a loss of a yard. Alright, we'll go bunch. We'll go this double cross play. Really, because I want to get Tyreek Hill on me. You got jammed at the line. Ooh, what a juke there by Tyreek Hill. He's going to be so nice to use with the starters. I mean, we can get him on some of those deep play action bombs. All right, we'll scramble with this one. I think he got the first. Second in inches. This is an RPO, but I'm not even going to look at that bubble. I have the fastest man. Woo! Oh, breaking ankles. Breaking ankles. Should be illegal for us to be this good. Iron call slants here. We'll sit back, let the things develop, see what opens up. Ah. Uh, I thought I could maybe slip it, th slip it in behind him there. Are right, we gonna look? Actually, look Hearns underneath here. I think we're bringing a blitz from the left. Oh no, they didn't. Interesting. Couple, three yards. Yep. All right, we'll, we'll go spread. Let's go this play action replay. It usually works for me. Especially since I think they only have one linebacker in the middle. Yeah, but he jumps up. And that pass is open. What play was that? That was a... Oh, uh, yeah, it was a DB blitz. That was man coverage the entire way. Alright, hopefully we can bounce out to the edge. Actually, we can just go right up the... Ooh, almost was able to go right up the gut. All right, so there's a holding penalty on us, just because. On, dog. Nah, dog. It's okay. You live and you learn. All right, play action right here. All right, I'm gonna put two clock on just because this game's over. 
Like this, this, this game is beyond over. I mean, I don't think anyone thinks this game is not over. Couldn't escape the pressure there. I think we're just gonna go slip screen. Yeah, there's a slip screen in this formation. I mean, we're not, we're not gonna be able to pass the ball down the field. We'll, sh we'll just call a slip screen here. I mean, you never know what can happen. He got us inside the ten. All right, fourth and seven after the two-minute warning. Hmm. What do we call? We can call the field goal, fake field goal spin out pass, or we could call it. We should probably call it shovel. We try the shovel play. Yeah, fake field goal kicker toss. We could try this one. But I think the kicking like accuracy meter is literally as tiny as it can be. Face mask? Oh, I think there's a face mask. I think we need that needs to go to booth review. I mean, that probably would have worked if they weren't expecting us to do it like we have been all game long. Just saying. Ooh. Oh. This is good, though. Pressure's on. And Williams is doing a good job of shedding his, shedding his blocks. It's now second and ten. Yeah, they gotta go in the hole. I don't even know what formation we're in. I was just letting the suggested plays. Ooh! <laughs> Jamal Agnew with the interception. That's good. Because he's got. He is superstar. And he's a 69 overall free safety. And at 70, he unlocks an ability. So that should give him enough XP to bump him up to a 70 overall to get him up, hopefully, to a 70 overall so he can have an ability. Alright, just going to the clock wind down pretty much as far as possible. Well, really, just till after 40. Toss play. Didn't, didn't go anywhere. But that's going to end this game. And don't click off yet, because I'm pretty sure we've got, we have multiple, multiple upgrades to hand out. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna run this last play because we can. So I'm gonna try to reverse the field. I mean, 14 for 22, 200 yard, 201 yards, and a touchdown. Pretty good stat line for a uh, wide receiver turned backup QB. Yeah, obviously the game started off a little rough, <laughs> but once their backups came in, it was game over. So, I mean, realistically, there's not really much of a difference in ability from our starters to our backups, but for them, it's obviously a considerable amount. I mean, look at that. Pure domination. So, you know, whenever they put their backups in, it's it's like a brand new team, but when we, for us, when we put our backups in, it's like, all right, we're just going to run slightly less aggressive play calling. I mean, we should have multiple multiple upgrades i mean that's pretty much the, seems to be the trend with these position drafts is after the first game there's loads i mean loads of upgrades for players i don't know why but i do thoroughly enjoy it oh yeah oh yeah so let's go julio yeah get that zone With his size and speed, he should be able to cover anything. All right, I'm feeling, yeah, we're gonna get that pass coverage up. Because I mean, re realistically, we're not we're not gonna blitz him that often. R normally in a game, I would just call a lot of three fours. All right, Vanta Valdez Scantling went up. Deontay Johnson, accuracy, please. All right, Julio. So Julio's gonna get up to a 60 once all this, once I upgrade 
him all the way. Chris Conley, one of our corners. Keep him at man to man because he is, I think, over 90. He is very high jumping. And that can be really useful. If he's out there mossing people as a if he's out there mossing people as a, as a cornerback. I think Valdez Scantling might just earn himself a starting spot. But I don't edit the depth chart or anything until once until after the preseason's over. Just because obviously if we're having it's designed so that everyone gets the same amount of playing time for the first three weeks. In the last week, no one really cares. So I really just don't mess around with anything too badly. Just because I don't want to mess something up for a player. Josh Gordon going up in overall. That's what I like to see. Interesting is since I have like a team identity, like I like to use those nickel looks. And if once I get enough XP to upgrade the linebackers, like get the, have the linebackers earn more weekly XP. It's just going to be broken for the entire team. Like, just how quickly everyone's everyone's probably going to progress. Dorch is just, like, I think he's our sixth ring wide receiver that I just have because I didn't know where else to put him. Oh, yeah, Deontay Johnson. We need you to be able to hit some of those kicks. And Julio's up to a 60 now. Yeah, I mean, so he should be a zone. Because, I mean, his size and speed, he should be able to should be able to cover like an entire field. I'm going to Elman for the improviser because he's not the fastest, so I'm not going to look to scramble with him necessarily right away. However, if it's there, it's there. Oh, that's right. Valdez Scanling won't start because we got Carter in there. But we could have some interesting looks down the road. Manual Hall with the upgrade. Our Sega White side's got an upgrade. I mean, this team. There's, there's a pretty good amount of young players on this team. Alright, yeah, Thielen's pass coverage is high enough. We should work on that speed rusher a little bit. Again, about a scan length with his final upgrade. Put him at a 32. That's not that bad. I mean, that's, that's potentially starting. And obviously there's going to be changes to the depth chart pretty much the entire season because of, I mean, how much everyone's going to change. I think all these young players are probably going to progress really quickly because of how bad they start off as overalls. And all these players with these high development traits are going to progress. So there will likely be changes in the starting lineup probably through the playoffs. I mean, we're, we've had upgrades upon upgrades for these players. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good about this team right now. Hopefully, this is not a fluke. And hopefully this is a sign of things to come. That we will be able to play as well as we have. Don't trail Inman. Yeah, get that run stuffer up. Because you're a bigger wide receiver. Or D-tackle. All right, Cedric Wilson is our terrible, terrible QB, but he's in, but he's very fast, and he's a little he's a little work in work. Now let's take a minute to see how you can improve your team in progress. That's the word. So that's gonna conclude today's. This is, that's gonna conclude this video. If you have enjoyed, make sure that you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And go check out on my channel all the different other position drafts I've done. And it is Jay Beebs signing off. Mm -hmm.